today we uh, today we are going to deploy a Next.js app to S3 and CloudFront with GitHub Actions, and this time we'll be using Terraform. Uh, my last video was the same exact. Uh, de uh, application deployed to S3 in CloudFront but in this application I did all the steps manually through S3 and CloudFront uh, uh, management consoles and at, in this video I'll be doing all the steps uh, of S3 and CloudFront through Terraform manifest files so let me bring my VS code here okay so this is the main file of the Terraform manifest in the provider section we will be giving the HashiPop AWS versions AWS region in pro AWS provider the S3 bucket that we make for this uh, for the bucket that we made the name the tags that we given the S3 bucket policy get object and the ARN of the S3 bucket and also uh, the principles is AWS and the identifiers is the CloudFront origin access identity that we will be creating uh, below in this manifest file so once we have created this bucket policy now we will attach it to the bucket this is the bucket name and this is the bucket policy going forward this is the s3 bucket website configuration this is the bucket this is the bucket id the index document the error document now we will be coming to the cloudfront distribution in the cloudfront distribution first is it depends on the s3 bucket we have given the origin to of the s3 bucket and the origin origin configuration which is the CloudFront origin access identity this is the default cache behavior get and head get and head viewer protocol policy is redirect to HTTPS minimum time to live default time to live and maximum time to live it's all available in the variable files here we'll go through it later in this video okay for the price class we have price class also defined in the variables file for the restrictions again in the variables file cloudfront geo restrictions restriction type and for the viewer certificate we have cloudfront default certification set to true and in the last item of this file is the cloudfront origin access identity okay going on to the variables we have defined some variables here the domain name I have given a random s3 bucket name tags price class we have defined price class to all and cloudfront minimum minimum TTL default TTL and maximum TTL and cloudfront geo restrictions restriction type set to none and the CloudFront geo restriction location set to an empty array. We go to the provider. We add a provider. Open ID connect. In the provider's URL, we'll be copying this. Paste it here. And get a thumbprint. And in the audience, we will provide for the audience use STS Amazon AWS.com scroll down add provider so we have provided the github user content so once we are done with the identity provider now we will be creating a role create role and uh, let's go to the web identity choose a provider token actions github user 
select this one and the audience SDS Amazon AWS and next we go on to next so actually we will have we want this this permission and uh, let's go back Now we will select the custom. Actually, we wanted to you know select the policy from that and go to custom trust policy. Select all. Replace it with the one that we have selected previously. Go to the open ID connect, and uh, we have to select these two strings equals the conditions. These two conditions. I just select these two, copy, and we'll be selecting these, this, and replacing it with the selected one. Now we are done with the OIDC Connect, and we have provided the OIDC AWS GitHub uh, a role to. Uh, we have created a role, and. Uh, we have seen that uh, the CICT, CICT pipeline works fine. Now let us change something in the front in the source code and then we'll see how it deploys it. And uh, the result will be shown in the CloudFront distribution. Let me just change one name here. Let me put my name save the changes now I will commit these changes as you can see our build and deploy was passed now let us go to the cloud front and let us see the invalidations so the invalidation is in progress now it has completed uh, let's go to the general copy the distribution domain name paste it here and uh, let us find yes as you can see it has changed as change to my name and I can see the changes here